understand the heartbreak now is to lose in the semi-final. So we need to make sure that we don't have that happen again to us. People talking about Canada 2015, it's now 2017. I have to say for the first time in 17 years, I believe we can win it. <laughs> Holland, woo! Going to Holland. It's definitely starting to feel real now. I always say when you get off the airplane and you get the official bus, that's the first telltale sign. You see arriving here in Holland, um, it's just kind of starting to see things around the tournament, pictures up um, as you walk around the streets. So yeah, getting really excited and really looking forward to that first game on Wednesday. Look how happy the kit man is, day one, Woo, and we're all soaked. <laughs> as well you know I think we're putting a little bit of pressure on ourselves because you know we are saying we are going to win it so we need to make sure that we do the talking on the pitch not, not only off it. Oh, it's up to us there's no excuses we have to go out there we have to perform and as a squad we know what we're capable of doing. There's an expectation and I think previous tournaments we've been allowed to go in and kind of do what we wanted to do. If we done well, everyone was surprised. If we didn't do so well, no one was surprised. Um, whereas now I think there's an expectation. Been a lot of talk and a lot of hype around us as a team going into this tournament. We know that there's an expectation on us, but we know as a squad we've got a great mixture of youth and experience, and I feel like we're really ready to get started. Alex Scott, Farah, Tony, Nikita. What's that, Colin? You are non with me. Yes, <laughs> The belief in this squad is massive. I think everyone knows the quality that we have in the squad, not just, you know, who's going to be playing in the starting eleven, but people who are on the bench, people who don't get on, you know. The squad is incredible. I think this is the most together the squad's ever been. Um, we feel like one big family. I feel like that's going to stand us in good stead because in tournaments there's always highs, there's always lows, and you need to have good people around you. And everybody is so together. I think everyone's just so desperate to win this tournament. You know, it's really going to show in this tournament how hard we've been working, not only on the football pitch but in the gym or like people doing their recovery. So I think now the squad's more than ready than ever, if I'm honest. Put in a lot of work off the pitch and on the pitch, and now the time has come for us to perform. We've worked harder than I've ever known. I think we're as fit as we've ever been. Um, and we're the most prepared we've ever been. So, yeah, for me, it just builds confidence going into the tournament. An ongoing case on the time to find out what Twitter's saying. Careful of work, guys. So we're just watching Love Island while a couple of the girls, actually we've got two centre-halves, are doing recovery, resting them legs. I don't know why, because they don't even have to run at the back. Sometimes you've got to play the same with your head. You turn around like a headless chicken. Don't eat me, it's top of these GPS stats. Exactly. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Kill! Oh! Right, this is why you're not allowed in Love Island. Get out! Okay, you're 23, I'm 30. Yeah, and I'm acting like the adult and you're acting childish. Just because you're trying to dig out of it. 
So the girls are getting into a cryotherapy chamber which takes them down to minus 120 degrees. It's really good for generating the muscle cells as well as getting the girls into a nice deep sleep. Oh my gosh, no chance. Apparently if you freeze your body, you recover quicker. Okay? Shanice, Steph. Steph, I mean. Oh no! Oh, it's so cold! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> okay? Yeah. I love these headbands. You do? Okay. Uh, it has to cool down. A bit nervous. Oh, okay? Yeah, I like it. Welcome back. Oh, that was cold. Let's stay minus one, baby. Oh, okay. it's a big game tomorrow that we've been working so hard for. So let's just be a together team today because um, we know we've prepared well for this and enjoy it. Let's stay minus one, baby. Woo. Team on three. Teams. One, two, three. Team. Team. on the way to the stadium to do the press conference. <laughs> uh, the feeling in the camp is that we just can't wait to get started. It'll be a special night tomorrow for both England and Scotland, but the important thing is England will walk away with three points. Thanks, mate. Good to see you. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you, yeah, very well. Right, Steph. Hello. hello, hello. How are you? Are you okay? Very well. Thanks for that. Uh, 30, and then I'll count down. Two. Which England and Scotland will tomorrow night. Mark Sampson alongside me now. We had a great preparation camp, and five weeks is a long time, so for it to be less than 24 hours away, I think everybody just can't wait to get out there and put on the England shirt and um, hoping for an England win. For me, this is what you train for day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out, is to be at tournaments like this, to get to your opening game and to get going. You know, you want to get over that white line, you want to get a performance in, and ultimately you want to get a win. We feel like there's one medal missing, and that is the gold, and hopefully we can have a good tournament and bring that gold medal home.